Let's face it, construction workers face many dangers of workplace accidents. One of the major accidents on a construction site is caused by fire. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA, requires employers to implement fire protection and prevention programs in the workplace. Construction companies should take these programs seriously to protect their employees as well as the structural damage that it could result from. Three elements are needed for a fire to exist. One is heat. There is a lot of equipment in the construction site that causes heat, such as grinding, cutting, and welding. Smoking can also cause a fire if you smoke near flammable material. Two is the fuel. On construction sites, there are often open sources of fuel that can cause a fire, such as flammable liquids like gasoline, solvents, and flammable gases like propane or natural gas. Lastly, oxygen. The oxygen in the triangle comes from the air in the atmosphere. In order to eliminate fire, one equipment you can use is a fire extinguisher. Now, how do you choose the right extinguisher for your workplace? Most of us think that extinguishers are all the same. But what most of us fail to know is that there are many different types of fire extinguishers, and each of them uses different extinguishing classes, such as water, CO2, dry chemicals, and wet chemicals. Newer portable fire extinguishers may include the symbols for the types of fires they are designed to extinguish. One is type A, which is used to extinguish fires such as paper, wood, cloth, etc. Next is type B. This is used to extinguish fires that involve grease, oil, paint, and solvents. Type C used to extinguish fires like electrical panels, motors, wiring, appliance, etc. Type D, used to extinguish fires for combustible metals such as magnesium or sodium. And type K, used to extinguish fires that involve oils and greases used for cooking in kitchens such as vegetable and animal-based oils and fat. It is not enough to know the different classes of fire extinguishers. We should know how to properly use them. There are four letters to remember. P, A, S, S. Pull the pin, aim at the base of the fire, squeeze the handle, sweep at the fire, moving from side to side. Now, what are the ways to prevent fire incidents? A fire protection plan is essential even before the start of the project. Regular site inspections should be conducted by the person responsible for fire prevention and control. Anything that is flammable must be kept in the proper storage. Smoking must have a designated area. The necessary numbers of suitable emergency routes and exits that must be kept clear and free from hindrance and, where necessary, provided with emergency lighting. Exit routes must be indicated by suitable signs. The site must have necessary and sufficient firefighting equipment and fire detection and alarm systems must be installed. And everyone on the construction site must be fully aware of how to use firefighting equipment and know how to evacuate the work site using emergency routes. Be mindful of this pictogram, which represents flammable hazards. Fire safety should always be a key priority when it comes to planning and managing construction work. While having fire extinguishers on site ensures that workers are prepared to react to emergency situations efficiently and safely, we still need to be alert of any potential fire hazards before anything gets worse.